Hi, welcome to another Power Blast podcast. Hey everyone, Perry Tindley here, creator of the Power Blast podcast, owner of PutYourselfFirst.com and founder of Team Power Blast. And these may be my hardest exercises to date. And I'm not talking about Insanity Max, which I just got done with, holy camoly. Um, but what I love about the community and about the people that subscribe to this podcast, it's not only me sharing tips and ideas and, and helping many people, um, many of you help me with, with emails and encouragement and feedback, etc. And one of the ones recently, I was, I was posting about how I had to modify Insanity Max. And frankly, I've been modifying several programs for a few years now. And just noticing over time, just some of the, you know, it, got, it almost feels like little shoulder impingement sort of things. And my, my triceps aren't nearly as strong as they once were. And I'm doing push-ups from my knees and um, just don't have that, that uh, Oh, got got the sun coming in. I uh, don't have that, uh, just that strength and power. And so a buddy of mine, Mark Kuchler, thank you so much. He he responds to me and says, you know, have you ever uh, considered seeing a physiotherapist and checking out something called dry needling? And it was interesting because I had gotten, uh, I had been in a massage uh, clinic um, maybe a month prior and the lady that was massaging my back had kind of recommended that, said she had done it, and she said, oh, they, they uh, put almost like these acupuncture needle type of things and really target the, the deep-seated knots in your, in your you know, back and helps release them, something that a deep tissue massage can't do, and maybe you know, chiropractic uh, doesn't release them either. I don't know. I'm not an expert on it, but it had me wondering, okay, this is the second time somebody brought this up. And what Mark was sharing with me was, you know, he, he had had some shoulder things and his chest was, was too tight and it was pulling things forward. And, uh, you know, so I went for my first appointment yesterday expecting that, you know, I was going to be uh, very, very sore today with all the, because of all these little needle things. And, you know, to tell you the truth, I was a little bit intimidated. Well, I met with a lady. We didn't do any of the dry needling stuff. Not yet, um, because Perry has a much bigger issue to to overcome. You know, I don't know if you can see while I'm sitting here, but I, I have these really droopy shoulders, etc. And you know, you'd think after working out a while, you know, you you know, kind of build up the the, the traps and, and everything in the back there, uh, and the shoulders. No, that uh, uh, well, traps and scaps and everything, but. What, what I discovered is I have um, probably from a lot of computer work, I sit at a, sit at a desk and, and do things on a computer, and not even necessarily at a desk, use a laptop a lot. And the ergonomics of my posture and everything is really, really not good. And so I got a stack of papers, some exercises that I needed to do, and I swear these are for me, I mean, it'd probably be a breeze for you, but these have me doing things that are so uncomfortable, yet they're simple to do. I mean, she's just having me put my, my back up against the wall and, you know, tucking my chin in and doing a pelvic tilt and then, you know, doing, you know, doing some sort of, you know, movement with a little stretchy band. I am just trembling trying to keep that. My, my neck is, you know, I had no idea uh, because my shoulders are now rounded and my neck's forward and stuff. Just over time, all of this stuff is just kind of built up just a little bit, little bit, little bit, and then taking strength uh, away from other other muscle muscle groups, etc. At least it's the way it was explained to me and it totally made sense. So here I am uh, doing, you know, leaning up against the wall on several several things, this chin tuck thing, and trying to get my neck, you know, in in good posture so I could do the exercises. It just has me. I mean, I am so sore just from the past couple of days. There's a sun again. Um, the past couple of days, just um, trying to 
not only stabilize, but just to get through the movements. And I'm sure things will improve over time, but this is something that um, I I'm glad I discovered. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for all the people. I mean, there were a lot of people that got back to me with, with things I may want to, want to consider doing. Um, I, I definitely need, you know, as I'm looking here, I definitely need to work on, uh, I don't even know if you can see that, um, the, my posture and things for um, just sitting at a computer. So I'm kind of reevaluating how I'm how I do that from day to day because it's so easy to just grab a laptop and you know place yourself wherever, twist yourself. But you do that over time, man. I mean, if this sort of thing is just compromising my health and fitness and things that I want to accomplish, um, and and I'm really wanting to embrace uh, uh, a healthy, fulfilling life. Um, I needed to do something and if it weren't for sharing my story and a lot of you sharing your story out there and somebody reaching out to say, hey, you may want to consider this, I think it's, I think it's just brilliant. So I'm so grateful for you and all the community and you know I'll, I'll let you know how things continue with my progress on this. I'm sure this is that I'm sure this packet will end up being pretty significant over the next uh, Oh, she said it's going to be several, several months before I build up strength back here and, you know, start to see strength in other areas. And I'll also keep you up to date on what this dry needling stuff is. But hey, you know, exercise your options when, you know, when you're looking at something for yourself. You know, it's good to share your story. There's a lot of things out there and we're like, oh gosh, I don't want to grab at straws. But when somebody gets back to you and says, here was my issues and here's what I dealt with and you're like, me too. You know, it's well worth looking into. That's all I have for this week. You know, I appreciate you coming in and liking and commenting and sharing and subscribing. Super, super grateful for you. And you know, if this is uh, something that's helpful to somebody else, pass it along. Remember, it's never too late. We'll see you next week.